everybody, I'm back with another Winter Disco LOL Surprise OMG doll. And this one is uh, Cosmic Nova and Cosmic Queen. Same, uh, different colorations, different fur on the top, different, I think pretty much the same design, but just different colors, if I remember correctly. I have to look back on my other video. <laughs> but it does have 25 surprises. It does say look for the ultra rare surprise. I was made aware by uh, another uh, YouTuber that the ultra rare surprise is actually down here where it says may contain snow powder. The snow powder itself is considered ultra rare. So um, I did get it in my, my last doll. Uh, so I guess I should have been more excited than I was. Uh, <laughs> but I am buying it for the doll. So I guess the ultra rare surprise would have been a lot better for me if it was like an accessory or something like that. Or, uh, heaven forbid, another doll. <laughs> so, uh, it says turn me upside down. It, it's almost like a snow globe in here where, or, like, where it's filled with beans. And you can see, um, there is an, a little LOL surprise doll in there. As far as I know, there's none exclusive to, uh, to these sets. They're all, they have all been made before. I don't know from where, what series they all come from. I was told uh, the one that came with Snowlicious was from Series 2. So I knew it was either 2 or 1 because those are the only two that I have in my collection. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead. I, I think, let's see, let's just see the rest of the box here. Hey, little sis. So wait, that must be the one that's in there. And then uh, we've already read this. This is the same on back here, I believe, that we saw on our other one. And then the silhouettes of all four girls that are in this series. Now I know how to open the box because I figured it out in the last last video. Uh, we just have to take this plastic part off here. So that was fastened on by a little bit of tape. And then this slides off here. You want to keep this part though. Uh, I made a little side note in my last video. If you want to keep the box intact... This part is crucial to uh, putting it back together. But here is our box art for... Oh, she's so pretty. Looks like she's going to have aqua hair. Oh, ooh, okay. So it says pull here on this. I'm going to try and see if I can just take the sticker off. What you do is you pull here, and it rips the sticker off, and then this part becomes the spinny. So apparently I'm not going to be able to save that. So you just pull here. And that's going to rip that. And... I think this is already a spinny already. So let me just see here before we look inside. It says, Cosmic Nova. Brighter than a shooting star at midnight. Fiercer than a solar flare. Moon boots scoot into the boogie of the cosmos. So let me turn this back around here. And then I should have waited to pop that. And then we open this up, and then here's our dress. It says, Dress Me Dressing Room. <gasps> She's so pretty. Look at, oh, look at all that glitter. And the glitter, may I add, so far on her is not um, removable glitter. So we have, like, oh, oh my goodness. I'm going to pull her out, and I'm, we're going to go, um, let's just, <laughs> all right, I'm getting too excited. I don't, I don't know my words right now. So this is BB Decor. This is a little surprise in here. Let's open that up. We have a flexible vinyl cowboy hat that's a translucent periwinkle with metallic belt, I guess, or strap around it. And then she also has this here to hold her hat on. I don't really like the design of this hat, but it should go on her head pretty good. So let's get her out of here. Pull out our ties. Be right back, guys. So here is Cosmic Star out of her box. And all I could say is, wow. She has a, um, I don't even know where to start. Her hair is more of an aqua green color. And it's striped with sparkle pieces, um, glitter strands, which is a little bit staticky at the moment. 
They're done in uh, two long, long, long ponytails that are tied at the top with uh, just the hair wrapped around it. She does have bangs that are sort of resembling of a, a widow's peak type hairline. But uh, her hair ties are elastics, one, two, three, four, that go all the way down to hold her hair in there. And then at the end, she's got some curl. It's a tad bit dry, but it's mostly soft. Uh, there is really no product in her hair. Uh, there's a little product, the bangs, which actually causes her bangs to have a little bit of a gap in that hairline, which I don't really love. But um, it works. She has those zigzaggy type eyebrows that Neonlicious had from series one or the original series. But they're done in aqua. Basically match her hair color. Uh, she has dark pink glittery, like super glittery eyeshadow. And a darker pink lipstick. More of like almost close to red. That's also done in that with a lot of glitter. That's the glitter you don't want to touch probably. Her eyes are more of a violet color. Moving down, we have a collar line that is like a transparent pleather, but it, it velcros in the back. That must be the top of her of her um, shirt. And then it's followed by a mesh that is done in that teal. They're both teal, but different fabrics. And then it moves on to another fabric that is silver. Silver sparkles. You can see the sparkle of fabric. It's, it's, it's the actual fabric and not glitter. So it's not going to come off. Uh, we also have a silver, it's more of a leotard, I guess I want to say, or more like a exercise outfit? I don't really know. But uh, that's also silver, but it's a different material with uh, some sparkles in it. And then it's lined with a purple color that's also sparkly and striped. Interesting. She has some really thick tights on, which I'm really impressed about. I haven't seen actual tights on a doll in a long time. Uh, these are like a dark, almost a, well, I guess a dark teal. You can, they're probably like black tights that are lined with, uh, teal glitter. It, it's really, really pretty. They're really pretty. I don't even know how to, I mean, I don't know if they know if the movie will do them justice. I didn't say before, her legs do spread out just a tad bit this way, but not much. They're just really tight and, uh, they go back and forth and they have the click, the click knee. So they do move just differently. Uh, her waist does not swivel, but she has a nice little belly button and a defined uh, abdomen, so she definitely works out. Uh, we have uh, shoulder articulation, elbow articulation, and jo um, joints on the wrist. Her hands are removable in case you have an impossible outfit to put on, which usually it's been the case. Uh, and they're softer, plastic, almost like the face. Uh, every girl from the LOL line so far have also had molded on long nails that are painted in matching uh, nail color. This one is a metallic silver. So we're going to go ahead and open up the other side of our box and see what we have. Oh, I also, also, <laughs> let's not get ahead of myself. We have a dark purple brush here that seems to follow the same shape as all the brushes in the OMG line. Uh, with a matching uh, stand, which is in uh, three different pieces. I believe this purple of stand is exclusive to her so far. I don't know. There's one other girl from the first series that I don't have, and it could actually be the color of her stand. I don't know if anyone wants to confirm that in the comments below, but that would be cool. Uh, so let's go ahead and open up this side. So we cut the two pieces of tape off of this side, and then this part opens up over here. And... Let's go ahead and get all of our stuff out of here. It doesn't look like we got any snow this time. So here is the inside of her other room. We have a little uh, pillow cushion table drawer thing with a little plant on the inside. It looks like a parlor, uh, maybe a majesty palm. And then we have a little bit of a hanging light here. I don't know if this is supposed to be... I think it's... A, I don't know if it's like a lounge room. And this is like her changing room. I don't, I don't know. But let's get into her stuff here. So here is... 
Cosmic Queen. I don't know what she's part of. I don't know if she's part of the Glitterazzi. Uh, but she's all glitter. Except for her boots. I don't have a the her original um, version. So I don't know if she's a glittered version of that. Or if there's any difference at all from uh, her original version. Uh, she's kind of cute. Uh, but she's got that annoying glitter that comes off. So far, not a lot have come off, has come off, so that's pretty good. Um, and here's her little uh, water bottle that comes with it. It also has an annoying glitter top. <laughs> so we're going to put her aside. And we're going to look at uh, the shoes here. So obviously it's a size 6.5. Not obviously, but so far they've all been size 6.5. And, and uh, this one says... Silver Diamante. Looks like they're going to be some kind of boots. And I think this is the same. I have, to, I have to look at my other video, but I think that this is the same tissue paper that we've seen. Oh, okay. Uh, uh. So we have these little boot spurs, it looks like. Ah. Uh. Oh, they're very glittery too, and it comes off in your hands. That's that is a con for me. <laughs> I don't like glitter that comes off, but uh, they're really pretty, so I think they're gonna be very matching of her outfit. Uh, all that's in there, okay. So now let's look into this other box here. This is supposed to be the hat box, but we already got our hat. Unless they're giving us two hats. I feel like that should have been in that box. Okay. Let's see what we got here in the hat box then. If it's not a hat, then what? We have glasses. Now these are the first glasses that I think I've seen that have been transparent enough to be able to see the eyes. So I look forward to using these. You can see that they're the lenses themselves are tinted pink with a little bit of sparkles in there, and the frames themselves are painted uh, that metallic silver. Uh, but only on the front. The side is still that metallic pink. We have what appears to be... Oh, is this open? Okay, so we have a disco ball purse here, and I think it opens. It does indeed open. It's on a hinge on the bottom. So I don't know what you would put in there, but uh, it's functional, which is pretty awesome. Considering we don't get a lot of functional purses with most dolls these days. Uh, this looks like a belt. That's going to be fun to put on. Hopefully it stays. Um, a necklace. That has a little, that's like, it looks like it's supposed to be leather. With, um, metallic silver bits on the bottom. And then, uh... A little star design that's metallic silver as well. And it has like a painted turquoise piece in the middle. So that's very remnants of a cowgirl style. And it looks like we have some earrings as well. Loaded up the accessories in here. Uh, yeah, these are going to be fun to put in. They're, they're little... Uh, they almost look like... Um, like cell phone signal design in that triangle with the lines. And they're done on a, a transparent purple color, and there's a little bit of sparkles embedded in that. And then the uh, the actual symbol is done in the metallic silver. Okay, that's it. That's in there. So our first garment bag is light turquoise, and it's got the um, gingham style squares that are done in metallic silver with a little bit of... Like, you can see, like, the stars. I don't know if you can see that. There's metallic stars all over them to make it look sparkly. The hanger itself is a dark purple, you can see. And, oh my goodness, guys, this is a skirt. I don't know what this is. It's a skirt. Ooh, and the skirt's got tassels. So the skirt is the same color as the the top of the leotard and in design. Um, <coughs> I'm sorry. In fabric and in color. And then you have the... Um, tassels down here that are done that purple that also is on the ridges of the bottom half of her so the, that should be fun and then our other garment bag is longer and it's black with 
dark blue and purple paisley designs on it. And I feel like we got something fur going on in here. I just... Oh, wow. I don't know what this is, but it's like a purple fur. It feels like the fur on the handles, except for it's purple. Pink. And it also has uh, some sparkle fibers embedded in it. I don't know if this is the jacket or not, but we're going to get everything together and we're going to take a look at her when she's all made up. Okay, guys, as cool as she uh, as uh, as cool and awesome as she is, I have had some son of a gun issues with her. First son of a gun issue is this belt right here. Now, if you remember what I showed it to you before, it uh, is a rubbery piece that has uh, a little tab, a little tab, and a little hole that clasps together on it. Now, it doesn't have any give at all. And it has to be put on at the thinnest part of her waist, because if you don't put it on the thin of her, the part of her waist, it's very hard to get the clasp on, because the little tab that, that pops in is not hard, so it's rubbery as well. So uh, that took me probably all of maybe 45 minutes to get on. I, I, if, if it wasn't, it sure felt like it was. And then there's the issue with her stand and her jacket. You want to put the stand around her waist like the rest of them, uh, but you can't fit it around the waist properly with the jacket on. And you, so you have to go underneath the jacket, which I have done with the other ones and have had it work. Uh, it looks okay from this point. Uh, you guys can't tell, but if you turn her around, she has like this hun the hunchback of Notre Dame going on there. Is that copyrighted? Can I say that? I don't know. But uh, yeah, so from the back, it looks like she looks like she has a growing hump because of the stand. So, um, I, I'm at an impasse as to what I need to do. I don't know if I want to take the jacket off and display her without the jacket. Display her with the jacket on, uh, and just not, just not look at the back, because <laughs> it's whatever. Uh, the shoes are actually pretty amazing. Um, I don't know if I've said it before in videos, but there is a left and a right shoe, uh, with these, which I haven't seen on doll, uh, in a doll line in a long time. Um, that's pretty cool. The hat, um, it did... It is not very sturdy on her head. If you pull it, push it back enough and you display her, it should stay. But uh, because it's string-fed like this, you have to kind of put it around things. I don't really know the quite quite the proper way to do it. Uh, but I am in love with her sunglasses. You can see her eyes through it. They are very uh, cowboyish, uh, southern-type style sunglasses. They look really awesome with that outfit. Uh, overall, I'm pretty impressed with her. Uh, I'm happy with her. Just uh, those couple issues with the the stand not making sense with the outfit. You want to keep her up to all together, I believe. Um, and uh, this son of a gun right here. <laughs> I did have that same... I did have an issue with uh, the accessories with the last girl, too. So I'm sure it's going to happen again uh, with the next girl I have to open. But um, overall, uh, the quality of her is stellar, just like they've been so far. Uh, and, you know, if you like cowboys or cowgirls or anything like that, uh, she's definitely the one to get. The only thing that I can reference for the winter part is this faux fur jacket that she has on, which looks gorgeous. Um... If you like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and stay tuned. Uh, we do have another, we have Dolly coming up. <laughs> I'll, I'll ruin the surprise. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.